there comes a time in everyone's day where you just have to sit down and watch a show on the internet that spews out tech news. That time is now. And that show is Netlink Daily. NVIDIA unveiled their latest mobile processor named Parker at the Hot Chip Symposium. Parker is meant for automotive applications like self-driving cars and digital cockpits. Parker has 256 CUDA cores on its Pascal GPU. It has two 64-bit Denver CPU cores which are paired with four 64-bit ARM Cortex CPUs. Parker also has 128-bit LPDDR4 memory, security engines, audio engines, H.265 video encoder and decoder, all built on a 16 nanometer FinFET process. Thanks to its combo of Pascal GPU and Denver CPU architecture, Parker can efficiently deliver up to 1.5 teraflops. The future of autonomous vehicles just got a whole lot more interesting. A recent leak on Sony's own website hinted that PlayStation Now would be coming to the PC. For those of you who are unfamiliar, PS Now is Sony's version of cloud gaming. In an effort to do damage control, Sony has decided to officially announce it on their blog. In addition to PS Now coming to PC, Sony is also launching a DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter for about $25. This adapter will allow you to use DualShock 4 controllers on both PC and Mac wirelessly and still be able to use all the features of the controller as long as the gaming application supports it. Both PS Now for PC and the adapter are coming soon. Remember back at Google I.O. Google unveiled their VR project Daydream? Well sources are now saying that Daydream VR can't be too far behind the Nougat launch and should be here sometime in the coming weeks. And in an effort to make VR more appealing to a broader audience, Google is partnering up with Hulu, Netflix, YouTube content creators, and more to make entertainment offerings rather than mainly focus on gaming. This could be a smart move for Google since the Rift and Vive both already have a big lead in terms of popularity with gamers. What do you guys think? Should Daydream VR platform focus on entertainment first, or should they dive right into gaming? Let us know and comment below. It's time for... Lightning Round P.S. Your beard is looking glorious as ever, Jack. Gold star. Thanks, Batman, for the comment on the beard and the lightning round submission. If you would like to make your own version of Quick Bits, lightning round, S-N-S-S-M-Q-T-T-O, or Snippy Snippets, tweet at us. Sony is jacking up their PlayStation Plus membership starting on September 22nd. It will go up to $60 for the US and $70 for Canadians for the 12 month subscriptions. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know I'm super pissed. <laughs> Opera's free VPN service was at first only on iOS, but today it's now on Android as well. Not only is it a VPN service, it also blocks ads. There are rumors saying that Nintendo might use the Parker SoC from Nvidia for the upcoming NX console. Will start to sell their disco drone next month starting at $1,300. Asus is now making their motherboards a bit more customizable by offering CAD files for components that you can 3D print. And Microsoft has announced Xbox One Z's. The only downside is that it's just for the Australian market for now. I really want one, but you know what? Good for Australia. They're usually the ones to be left out, but this time they get an exclusive. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And someone's supposed to say oi, 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 but I'm the only one here today. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. What up? My name is Rufus and I'm a fur baby. Please feed me your most top tier delectables. Neville, my name is Jack, not Rufus. But that was super confusing. And you know what else is super confusing? They keep making me do the Dollar Shave Club sponsorship spots. Maybe they're trying to tell me something. I just don't know what it is. Dollar Shave Club is a service that lets you get a great shave for a great price. If you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash NCIX and sign up, you get an initial package with the handle of your choice and a number of replacement blades. You can go for the humble twin handle if you crave simplicity, the 4X handle for a more nuanced touch, or the executive if you're fancy like that. Then, each month, Dollar Shave Club will send you replacement cartridges for your razor all for just a few bucks a month. It's a great way to save money and make sure you look your best. But that's not all. Dollar Shave Club also offers shower products like these, hair products like this smart hair paste, moisturizers, hand creams, and even one wipe Charlie's. You know, they're butt wipes to keep your bottom fresh. Plus, right now if you order a two of Dr. Carver's Shave Butter, eh? 
you get the first month of the Executive Razor membership for free. So go to dollarshaveclub.com slash NCIX and sign up for an account so you can start shaving time and shaving money. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. It comes a time when the news is over. And that time is lunchtime. See you later.